What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the nested loop. So let's get started. Now a nested loop is a loop inside a loop, that's all that it is. And I'm going to demonstrate what that means and we're going to use the for loop to demonstrate. So we have to start off by typing in for, hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open and close curly brace. Now in between this open and close curly brace, we're going to make sure our cursor is there and we're going to hit enter a few times. Now this is the structure of a for loop. Now in between this open and closing curly brace here is where we're going to add all the statements we want to happen while the loop happens. While the loop is still running, it'll do whatever statements is in between this open and close curly brace. Now in between this open and close uh, parentheses is where we're going to type in three things, our starting value, our ending value, and either increment or decrementing the variable. So first off, let's declare a variable. I'm going to use a integer data type. So type in int, hit space. I'm going to call my variable red, hit space, hit equal symbol here, space, now we gotta give it a value, I'm gonna give it a value of zero and end it with a semicolon, I'm sorry, semicolon. Now, we gotta hit space, now we gotta give it ending value. Let's, let's type in our variable name, which is red, hit space. I'm gonna use this less than symbol, hit space, and I wanna say five, because I want this loop to happen five times, right? So now I'm gonna hit space again, and I wanna say red, plus plus, this is gonna increment our variable by one. Every time the loop happens, our variable is gonna be incremented by one. And once we are no longer less than five, the loop will stop. All right, now we gotta add a statement here. So every time the loop happens, it's gonna do whatever statements in between this open and close curly brace here. So I'm gonna use a system dot out. So capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and then with a semicolon right in between this open and close parentheses we need two double quotes here so a set of double quotes in between the set of double quotes we're going to type in a message i'm going to say yes so every time uh the loop happens it's going to print that yes until the the value of variable red is no longer less than five then it'll, it'll break the loop so now we're going to add another loop inside this loop so after this uh, statement here we're going to add another for loop so let's type in four hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open and close curly brace again. So in between this open and close curly brace, we're gonna hit enter a few times. Now this is another uh, loop in here. So let's start off by initializing a variable again. I'm gonna use a, the integer data type. So type in int, hit space. I'm gonna call my variable blue, hit space. I wanna make it equal to zero, right? And end it with a semicolon. Now uh, I'm gonna say blue is less than Five, because I want this loop to happen five times. So now we're going to say blue plus plus because I want it to increment every time the loop happens. So it's pretty much the same thing as our top loop, but it's another variable. So now we're going to copy the system that out that print ln because I want to paste it under here. So I'll copy this, paste it in between this second loops, open and close curly brace, right? So we're going to paste it right here. And uh, let's hit answer a few times. To, now here, we're gonna replace yes with no. Now I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on from the beginning. We have this loop here. Now this loop, uh, we said uh, that as long as variable red is less than five, the, the loop will continue going. It, once the, the variable red is no longer less than five, it's gonna stop. Once th this stops, uh, then the program will stop because this is the outer loop here. And this open curly brace here, and it ends with this closing curly brace. So, so what's when the program starts? What's going to happen is it's going to we're going to declare a variable and uh, it's going to give it a value of zero, right? Uh, it's going to compare whether or not zero is less than five. As long as zero is less than five, it's going to keep going. Then it's going to increment the variable red by one. So now variable red is going to have a value of one. It's going to print out yes. Then it's going to go to this loop here. Now it's we're, we're going to declare a variable blue here and it has a value of zero. It's testing whether or not uh, blue is less than five. As long as blue is less than five, it's gonna continue. So then it's gonna increment blue by one, so blue will have a value of one and it's gonna print out no. So now it's gonna jump back to this loop here. Again, variable blue is gonna have a value of one now. Then it's gonna test whether or not variable blue is less than five. As long as it's less than five, it's going to continue to the next step. Then it's going to increment the variable blue by one. Then it's going to print that no. It's going to keep uh, doing this loop and inside this loop until the variable uh, blue is uh, greater than five. Once it's greater than five, then it's going to break. Then it's going to go back to this loop here. So then this loop here, 
uh, our variable red has a value of one. It's going to test whether or not uh, red is less than five. It is. It's going to increment this variable by one. Then it's going to print that yes. Then it's going to go back to this one here. And I'll show you exactly how that works. Let's hit play. I got an error message. I got an error message because I could see here I forgot to add a semicolon after this here when we were, we were testing whether or not uh, blue is less than five. After five should be a semicolon. And there should be a semicolon after five up here. Uh, when you're incrementing a variable, you don't need a semicolon, or when you're decrementing a variable, uh, but you do need a semicolon after this right here. So let's hit play again, and it worked. So let's start from the top here. It printed out yes first, right? So again, uh, it started this loop here, initialized a variable, and, and it gave it a value of zero. It Then it tests whether or not our variable red had a value of less than five. As long as the variable was less than five, it continued. So then it incremented the variable red by one. So now variable red has a value one, but it's, it printed out yes. So that's where our first yes came. Then it went down to the second loop here, right? So the second loop uh, declared a variable and it gave it a value of zero. Our variable is called blue. Then it tested whether that blue is less than five. As long as blue is less than five, it's going to continue. Then it incremented blue by one. So blue has a value of one now. Then it printed out no. But it didn't go back to the top loop. It, uh, it has to finish this inner loop first. So now uh, blue has a value of one, right? And um, as, as long as blue is still less than five, it's going to increment the, the blue by one. Then now blue has a value of two. So it's going to print out n, right? So it's going to keep printing out n until the loop breaks. Then it's going to go back to uh, the top loop, right? So as you can see here, then it goes back to the top loop. Now uh, our top loop has a value of 1. And it's going to test whether or not uh, our variable is, is less than 5. As long as it's less than 5, it's going to continue. It's going to continue. Now our variable red has going to have a value of 3 because it's going to get incremented here. Then it's going to print out yes again. Then it's going to go back to this inner loop. It's going to do this inner loop again five times. And it's going to keep repeating that till the top loop has a value greater than 5. So that's how that works right now. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.